I'm supposed to be at work, but as you can quite clearly see, I'm not. I'm at home. Morning. Welcome aboard. Like I said, I'm supposed to be back up in Lincolnshire in Market Raisin on that great big building, but I'm not. I'm at home. I'm not going to go into reasons as to why I'm at home, but I'm just at home. So happy Monday, everyone. So what I've decided to do is because I've been neglecting the birds, I've been working all weekend, not really seeing them, I'm gonna make them their favorite little food that I like to treat them with. I'm gonna give them a bit of a pampering. So I'm gonna get some stuff out. I'm gonna start off with boiling six eggs up, and then we'll go from there. And I'll show you exactly what they like to eat in their special little mix-up treat. And also stay to the end of the video, and I'll show you the regular seed mix that I do feed my aviary birds, which they absolutely love. So yeah, let's get started on that. <laughs> Right, usually I don't bother peeling the eggs. I give them shells and all, but because of the rabbits, I'm going to peel the eggs. So, time lapse. Doesn't it just really, really bug you up when the eggs just don't want to peel properly? Then, seven of them didn't want to peel properly. The last one, just popped out, not a problem. <laughs> one down though, I'm gonna have another one in a minute. Right, peel them, they're all good to go. What I'm gonna do now is get the rest of the materials that I need, get the blender out, chop some stuff up, and then I'll talk you through exactly what's in the mix thing. I gotta find the blender. <laughs> I think it's all good to go in a blender. I usually put an apple in as well, chop that up, but I haven't got any, so uh, I haven't got any apple in it. So let's go through what we've got. We've got six eggs, seven, because I haven't had my egg. We've also got young spinach, we've got rocket, and we've got kale. We've got cucumber, grapes, and two slices of farmhouse seeded brown bread. Now, I'm gonna put them all in the blender. So I'll start off, put the bread in, break that down a little bit. Then I'll put the rocket and stuff in, break that down a little bit. Then I'll put the cucumber, you know. And then I'll put the eggs in last. It's gonna start smelling really bad. <laughs> I love egg, but it's really strong. Oh dear, lovely, beautiful, look at it. They're gonna absolutely love it. So I'm gonna put my shoes on, and then that probably, because it's very cold, and I'm gonna go in the aviary and give them their food. There you go. I mean, there is no presentation prize for the food. I just flopped it on the floor. But they're out there enjoying it. They love it. I used to make that about twice a fortnight, but I haven't done so much lately. But we used to get lots of quail eggs when I had lots of quails. I used to make it out of the quail eggs. And like I said, didn't take the shells off, just blended the whole lot of shells and all. But now, obviously, we've only got lucky. Quail eggs are very, very rare. She does still lay, but probably about two, maybe three a month. But you could see as well from that video how much, like I said, that she's struggling with the balance. Now, once she lost her leg to the rat about two years ago, she was a very sophisticated hopper. But now she's just falling around like a drunk. 
Uh, but she is still eating, she is still drinking. That way I'm not too worried, but she's very lethargic and obviously very clumsy. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on her and keep an eye on the rabbits. Rabbits don't seem bothered with the food, but I'm gonna check on them anyway. But yeah, there you go. So like I said, quick recap. It was six boiled eggs, eight, I had two of them. Six boiled eggs peeled into the blender with young spinach, kale, and what else? Rocket, a rocket in there. Two slices of seeded brown wholemeal bread. Uh, some grapes and some cucumbers. I usually put apples in there as well, but I haven't got any apples. Just blend it all up, flopped on the floor. Like I said, presentation, not a problem. And like I said, they will eat all of that. They love it to pieces. You saw how quick Lucky was straight in there. I actually had a look at the boxes while I was in there as well. Mummy Budgie has about five or six eggs. Can't quite see because her last young is in the box with her. Not quite sure what's happening there. Then the box next to it, a couple of eggs. Violet's actually got three eggs and she's actually put them into the little cup bit in the middle of her... Um, box, which probably means that she's now going to try and hatch them out, rather than before she was just pushing them to one side against the right angle of the box, but they're actually in the cut out bit where they're supposed to be. There is one baby zebra finch, which I didn't know about. I did hear it the other day, so I, I assumed there was a finch uh, in the end house, which just seems to be the most productive one. And there's the odd egg here and there, so I'll just keep an eye on it. You know, it's like this time of year, like I said, I don't cover my aviary. The heating is not on out there. Nobody has died. They're all good, well and happy. I do have to, pretty much every single morning, as you probably all do, have to go in there, break up, throw out the water, all the ice and stuff, and replace the water. So, uh, yeah, and also, uh, no, that's it. That's it, I'm done. I should be going back to work tomorrow, back up to Lincolnshire, and then carry on with that great big megastructure we're building. And then, hopefully, if I have a weekend off, I'm going to dig out the Benabator and fire that up and see how that's going. Right, it's here. Though, my regular food that I use to feed the birds is Johnson's and Jeff's Avery food. They love it. I mean, they literally leave nothing. Not this is empty. Emma's bringing a new one home today. Now that was £17.99 at my local pet shops, and it was also £17 something on Amazon. Now the pet shop have put it up to £22.99. I've been down to my local one. They haven't got any, but they've rang to the other one where Emma's working, uh, and they put one aside for her, and she'll get a staff discount as well. But yeah, £22.99 it's gone up to. On Amazon, it's gone up to £30 a bag. It's only 12 and a half kilos. I have tried the Sky Gold, which is probably double the amount for a little bit more, but they're not as keen on it. So the jo Jeff and Johnson Avery mix is what I all love, obviously, because it's a mix of birds. Even the rabbits eat it, and they're not supposed to. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, found it informative, Give it a thumbs up, that will tell YouTube it was good and show you more. Turn the notifications on. Subscribe, please, I say it all the time, but subscribe. Most people that watch my videos are still not subscribed to the channel. So thank you. I now to need to clean up all the mess I've made in the kitchen. And I've got about 15 minutes before I'm gonna get the kids from school. Goodbye.